Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here from thetoycarcollector.com. That's right, thetoycarcollector.com is your source for Redline Hot Wheels. I love the Redline Hot Wheels and I know you do too. Redline Hot Wheels are the Hot Wheels made between 1968 and 1977, the first 10 years of Hot Wheels. These are the cool ones with the red circles, the red stripes on the tires, and they come in like 119 models. You know, I never could get that number down exactly because there's the uh, a few oddballs out there, the Dior Sky Show and uh, some of the Snake and Mongooses. So what is that number anyway? Is it 121? Is it 118? Is it 119? I keep forgetting. Anyway, if you have any questions, call or text me at 503-956-3708. You see the card, toycarcollector at gmail.com is my email address for your orders call me up if you want to order some redline hot wheels because i've got them but today i have come here to talk to you about heavy weights heavy weights and the ambulance being one of them the heavy weights i'd like to talk to you today about are the ambulance the tow truck and the snorkel and then when i got all done with those i realized there was one other one that i needed to talk to you about and that is the scooper these, all four of these, two are from 1971, two are from 1970, and all four of these guys share the same body. All the same body, just a different plastic top clipped onto the top. And they are so cool. They are the coolest of the heavyweights. Of course, the other heavyweights are the dump truck, the cement mixer, the waste wagon. They also share a particular long body, but these are way cooler than those. So let's talk about these today. And uh, let me get started. The first thing I did is I made this little list to go over the colors. I'm going to go over the colors alphabetically today. And as I was looking through the Elite Redline Guide, which is the most comprehensive guide for Redline collectors, unfortunately, it is out of print right now. So to get a copy of that, you got to spend like 75 bucks on eBay, but it is well worth it. It is a beautiful book. So check that out, the Elite Redline Guide. So here are the colors that are listed in the Elite Redline Guide. Now some of the colors are not listed on all the cars. I left out the scooper because I decided to add that one in at the last minute. Anyway, uh, some of the you can't get every color in every in the blister pack. That's the thing. It's not every color has been found in the blister pack on all four models. But if you were to take them out of the package, once they are out of the package, of course, you can swap the pieces around. And therefore, you could get all 16 colors in your favorite model, whether it be the ambulance. Now, the ambulance top, it will come off. You have to be very careful when you take the ambulance top off. If you have some good fingernails that you can stick in there, stick in there, both sides at the same time, you can get that to clip off. And usually without breaking the little tiny, there's four little clips, two on each side. And most of the time, you can get that off without breaking them, but sometimes they will break. The tow truck, you just squeeze in here. Put your fingernails in there and you can get that part off and that part generally does not break as well as the snorkel does not break but then when you get down here to the scooper you pretty much no way to get this thing off it does have the little clips on the bottom of the bed but they will break off when you try to take it off so you'll end up having to put your bed back on with hot glue so that is something to watch out for best bet just leave them alone just the way they are and enjoy them and look for all your favorite colors and make your collection that way. So let's go over all the colors at, that I have in stock right now. Let's start off today with the Aqua on the Ambulance. Here's an Aqua Ambulance. Very, very nice shape. There's really no wear on the paint at all. Although it's not the most attractive of the ambulances that I have. It's a little dullish on the base. And that back door, they didn't do a good job of coloring that plastic. Might have been a bad batch or something. And didn't get the red cross painted on it. So that's kind of a variation there. So there's the Aqua Ambulance. Aqua Tow Truck with the white interior. I do like the white interior. It really shows off the, the color and brightens up the whole thing. It's real nice. Real nice. It's got the tow truck hook on the back. Very nice condition. You got to kind of watch those. A lot of those hooks will be rusty. So watch out for that. And of course, the uh, one thing tricky about collecting these heavyweights is the bases. The bases are, this is a nice one. This is an untouched base. It's not dull. It's, eh, take that back. It's a little dull on the sides. A little dull on the sides. Can you see that? 
bottom actually looks pretty darn good. It's kind of a bluish look. That's what they typically have. Not too many of these, uh, this particular heavyweight will have a shiny base. It would be nice if they did, but they just don't hold up. And those sides in particular get dull. So, But this is a very, very nice tow truck. And here's the snorkel. The snorkel is a 71. It's got the same, as I said, the same chassis as the tow truck and the ambulance and also the scooper. And then it's got this real neat bucket thing on the back, the cherry picker. And now you got to be careful when you buy these because it's real easy for this piece right here to be broken. And it's really easy for that bucket to be broken. This particular one is quite beautiful. It's got a nice base, brand new, brand new looking wheels. The whole car looks like it just came out of the blister pack. It is a beauty. Look at that. The snorkel. Love that snorkel. Next color up today, blue. Blue on the ambulance. Wow, doesn't that look nice? I've always liked the blue on the ambulance, especially with the uh, bright chromey base. This particular one does have a nice shiny chrome base. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. You just don't find that very often, so don't set your heart on having all shiny bases on your ambulances or tow trucks because they just are very, very scarce. Now, the back door on this one is a little darker like the first one, but it does have the cross painted in, so that's real nice. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece. Blue ambulance. I love that. How could you not love that? It just looks gorgeous with that blue siren on the top. What would you call that? That's not a siren. What is that? That is a, hmm, what do they call that thing that goes around on top? Oh, well. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Can't think of it. All right, well, let's move on to the tow truck. Right, here's the tow truck in blue. Look at that. White interior. Very, very bright. Beautiful paint, nice orange yellow back, and a white tow hook thing with the chrome. Dull on the sides. If you look down at the chrome on the sides there, that's pretty much what you're going to get on most uh, most of these guys. Just about like that, sort of blued. You don't want to get it it's too dull. This one is still a beautiful base. It's just discolored, discolored metal. That's just the way they work out over the years. They don't stay shiny, and I don't, I don't know. Maybe they didn't get them all shiny in the first place. But they do not stay shiny, but this one is still beautiful and looks like it just came out of the blister pack. Real treat, blue, blue on, on the scooper. Blue on the scooper. Yeah, these scoopers are hard to get in really minty, nice sh shape like this. They really are. That plastic piece is subject to easily getting broken, especially when you start moving those arms back and forth. Yeah, those get broken off real easy. Really is a gorgeous model, fun to collect. I've only seen a few collectors who've really specialized in the heavyweights and it is a it's really something to behold a lot of heavyweights in all the colors they are just so fantastic the size they just uh, they're beautiful and this is an example of a beautiful scooper scooper third color today in the alphabetical lineup is copper copper now there's also a brown color listed i've seen a picture of one car that was a uh, darker brown than this they're both brown this one's a copper brown and there i have seen a dark brown in pictures but i've never seen one in real life so here's a copper brown on the snorkel i don't think i have anything else in the copper brown just this little snorkel last time i had a brown heavyweight it sold in a few minutes and i'm sure this one will be no different if i do decide to sell it brown snorkel look at that with a white interior that is gorgeous that is really a beauty love that absolutely fantastic green the color green on the ambulance look at that green with a white interior that's nice and bright look at that it's got a nice door very well matching on this particular one Look at that green ambulance. Let's see what else we have in green around here. I think we might have a green tow truck. Let's take a look. Green, hello. Is there any more green? I don't see any green. Hmm. Actually, I don't have any other green. That is crazy. You would think there would be green all over the place. All right, well, no green. So let's look for light green. How about light green? Light green. There's the light green. Look at that. Wow. Light green is a tough color, and it is gorgeous. I, I better stop. I think I'm going to stop saying gorgeous, because gosh darn it, every Hot Wheel color is gorgeous. If they're in minty shape, we just love them. doesn't matter the color, but look at this light green. Wow. It sparkles. That is a neat color, light green on the ambulance. And that is the only light green that I have. No snorkels, no tow trucks, no scoopers in light green. Just this one. 
ambulance today.